A 19th person has died in the U.S. from a vaping-related lung illness, and the national health debate about e-cigarettes is now part of a civil action lawsuit filed by a Mid-South man. Good evening, and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor Richard is off this week. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders, he's been working the story all day. He joins me live in the studio now. And, you know, Brad, I know you got your hands on the lawsuit, so can you break it down for us? Katina, that 75-page lawsuit filed by a Jackson, Mississippi area law firm contends Jewel and Associated e-cigarette companies prey on young people to get them hooked using fraudulent and deceptive business practices and keep them hooked with higher doses of nicotine compared to cigarette products. This class action complaint against the e-cigarette company Juul, with the car of a man named as a plaintiff, is one of more than 110 active lawsuits filed across the country in recent months. They actually took a page out of the old tobacco's playbook. That includes a St. Louis area school district, which this week filed a similar federal lawsuit against Juul, claiming the e-cigarette company markets addictive vaping products to children. That many kids vaping, uh, in the classroom, in the hallways, in the bathrooms, it takes a lot of time away out of the classroom. This Mid-South complaint, filed by a Mississippi law firm, contends Juul designed products to deliver no throat irritation while delivering increased doses of nicotine. The lawsuit also argues the company fraudulently concealed material information about the addictive nature of its e-cigarettes. In response, a Juul spokesperson told Local 24 News, we specifically designed this familiar nicotine experience in order to satisfy adult smokers and help them transition and ultimately eliminate cigarette consumption. The lawsuits nationwide against e-cigarettes comes as health leaders report a growing number of deaths and illnesses associated with vaping in recent months. Those at the Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, have yet to pinpoint what specific product or substance is linked to all the cases. Now, last month, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, sent a warning letter to Juul for wrongly advertising its products as a safer alternative to cigarettes. I reached out to that Mississippi law firm who filed that complaint but didn't hear back. Live in the studio, Brian Broders, Local 24 News. We know